sometimes you ask yourself, should I show up at a customer and park the day before I'm supposed to load, or should I stay at a truck stop? Hmm. Let me give you a little bit of advice, y'all. Here's a quick teaser. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Of course, y'all know who it is. Tourette's Trucker here and Thorbug right here. Tell them, Thor. Hey, Thor. Say, hey, bud. Well, y'all, this is another reason why I tell everybody if you can get to a customer, get to the freaking customer. Um, yesterday, I did the split sleeper berth because I know it's going to kind of be kind of uh, on a reload for yesterday. So, what I did, because, you know, I figured if I took a full 10-hour break, since I did a split at the receiver yesterday, yeah, at the receiver, yeah, that's it. So, I'm like, well, you know, hey, let's go ahead and take and do a split since I got three hours at the receiver yesterday, and then I got reloaded, which my appointment time got pushed, supposed to be five o'clock it ended up being eight but they did load me at like 7 30 so i ran well I did a split sleeper instead of taking a full 10 because then that would have put me getting to unload hours were eight to four that would have put me getting there to unload about 3 30 which would be right there half hour before they close or the cutoff time i didn't like pushing there so i did a split like okay fine i'll do a split sleeper berth that way I can get there at like 12.30 instead of 3.30, take that seven hours. Then I go to Thermo King, which was 15 miles away from there. So I did that, I got unloaded, got to Thermo King at two, got my APU fixed. It ended up being a freaking, a hot wire, the voltage sensing wire coming off the top of the motor and the back of the motor. They pulled the top cover off. He said the alternator, everything's fine, everything's good, the ground wires are fine. Pull the top cover off. I found the voltage sensing wire coming out of the back of the motor where it went in. It rubbed a hole in it and was corroded. And that's what was my freaking problem. Um, he went ahead and updated my software for me, which was cool. So I got that. And then they got me a load, loading like 90 miles away down here in Ottumwaa. Iowa going to Columbus Ohio loads at 9 a.m. delivers the next morning at 5 a.m. she's like can you do it I'm like well technically nobody could freaking do it um if you load at 9 get out of there at 10 okay if it's an hour load load at 9 a.m. get out at 10 a.m. you lose an hour because you're going back to East Coast time Hey, Thor Buggins, get back in here. Hold on. He never goes out, but he always worries me when he gets on that little ledge right there. But, you know, he just wants the smells and everything. But, you know, so you'll lose an hour. So if you load at 9, get out at 10, an hour going back East Coast time, that's 11. Okay, 10 hours to Columbus. Okay, that's 9 p.m. 10 hour break is 7 a.m. Unloads at 5. You can't park at the customer. There's no room to park or no place to park at the customer. So, what's that tell you? Mm, can't do it legally. Had to do another freaking split. I don't like doing splits. It throws, throws it too far to whack if you want to try to get a good run on the next day. But, here's the kicker. Since I got the APU fixed, and they got me in and out. I still had two hours left on my freaking split. <laughs> Again, so I made it here to the customer to park. It's supposed to freaking um, do 9 a.m. Guess what, though? Let me see here. Do, 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 Let me turn my radio on. Turn my power on so you can see. I want y'all to see my clock. 
because you know appointments 9 a.m which is why i tell people park at the customer get there and park if you can look what time it is y'all 2.58 a.m. but it's actually an hour back here so it's actually 1.58 in the morning and as y'all can see I'm in a dock they haven't given me the red light yet but I'm in a dock so this is why I say if you can get to a freaking customer get to the customer because by gosh if you can get there go ahead and check in there's a chance you can get loaded early and exactly what i'm doing so now by getting loading this early i still technically can't leave because it's only two o'clock here i can't log in until 3 30. so i'm loading while i'm still on my 10 hour break because i'm gonna take a full 10 while i'm on my 10 hour break and you know in an hour and a half I'll have a fresh 10 and I can roll with 3.30. So that means I can get there by 1.30 tomorrow afternoon. So that's plenty of time to park somewhere else. Or I'm actually going to see if I can get unloaded tomorrow. Or today, technically. So having to wait till Friday, today's Thursday. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and load Thursday, today. And load a day early. That's why I say get to customer, y'all. Work smarter, not harder. Peace out.